Hi viewers, welcome to my class on mechanics of materials. In today's class, I'll work out uh, two numerical examples on stresses in composite powers. So let us start. A compound tube consists of a steel tube, 120 mm internal diameter and 140 mm external diameter and an outer brass tube, 140 mm internal diameter and 160 mm external diameter. The two tubes are of same length. The compound tube carries an axial compressive load of 500 kN. Find the stresses and the load carried by each tube and the amount it shortens. Length of each tube is 400 mm. Take E for steel 2 into 10 days to 5 Newton per mm square and for brass as 1 into 10 days to 5 Newton per mm square. So this compound uh, tube consists of steel tube 120 mm internal diameter and 140 mm external diameter and this is within another brass tube of 140 mm internal diameter and 160 mm external diameter. They, they are of same length and length is also given 400 mm okay. and uh, this is subjected to an axial compressive load 500 kN. As a result of this load you need to find out the stresses induced and also the reduction in length because this is a compressive load the length will reduce and you need to find out the reduction in length. A Young's modulus of both the materials are given figure showing that steel tube and brass tube and this uh, compound tube is subjected to an axial compressive load and this is actually hollow the load should be transmitted to this tube so I shown it in the center but the load should be acting on this tube by some means might be covered with the plate and then subjected to a load so top there will be a covering and the load will be acting on that which will directly transmit the load to these tubes. So this is a hollow one, it is a tube, so steel tube and brass tube. So since uh, internal diameter 120 and 140 and the brass tube inside diameter 140 and 160, you can identify which tube is inside and uh, uh, the load is 500 kilo Newton, so 500,000 Newton. Young's modulus of steel is 2 into 10 days to 5 Newton per mm square. Young's modulus of brass is 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Length of the tube is 400 mm and uh, outside diameter of steel tube is 140 mm. Uh, inside diameter of steel tube is 120 mm. And similarly um, brass tube 160 is outer diameter and inside diameter is 140 mm. So you can find out the cross section area of steel tube and brass tube. Steel tube we will get pi by 4 into outer diameter square minus inside diameter square which will give the uh, colored area. Okay, That is a cross section area of steel. So you can use the formula pi by 4 into uh, outer diameter square minus in inside diameter square of that steel tube. So pi by 4 into 140 square minus 120 square or 4084.07 mm square that is area of cross section of steel tube. Now area of cross section of brass tube is pi by 4 into again outer diameter square minus inside diameter square of that uh, brass tube. So pi by 4 into 160 square minus 140 square 4007 12.39 mm square. Now we have the relation strain induced in steel is equal to strain induced in brass as a result of this uh, load. So st stress induced in steel is equal to Es by Eb into sigma V and we know the Young's modulus of both the materials. Substituting that you will get sigma S is 2 times a sigma V. Since the steel is having twice the Young's modulus of brass the stress relation between steel and brass is sigma s is 2 times sigma b. So steel should always take twice the stress taken by brass. This is because uh, modular ratio is 2. The second relation is uh, the 
total load is shared by steel and brass. So sigma S is plus sigma B A B is equal to P. Sigma S is two times sigma B from this relation. The area of steel and area of uh, brass I substituted. So total load is five hundred thousand. So from this you get uh, sigma B as thirty eight point eight two newton per mm square. So this is the stress induced in brass. Now stress induced in steel is twice that. And that is 77.64 newton per mm square. So one mm square area of brass is taking 38.82 newton, uh, whereas steel one mm square area is taking 77.64 newton. Now the load taken by brass you can calculate as sigma B A B. The sigma B you know 38.82 into area of brass, which will give 182.